everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I am Daniela. Welcome to Renea Paris TV. Today we are going to be talking about um, traveling with wigs. And I am super excited to give you some really nice, fun, easy tips. I'm going to start off, you know I answer a few questions. And so a lot of these are going to have to do with traveling with wigs. So I'm going to start off there if you don't mind. Um, and as always, if you're new to Renea Paris, um, make sure please that you take the time to go to reneaparis.com to view all our fabulous collections and styles. So the very first question that I usually get um, as I start my travels, and I started traveling already, but um, this particular weekend as we hit the road again, um, the first question is always, how do you decide what wigs you're going to take with you? Because I know it sounds crazy, but because we're in this industry, we do travel with a lot of wigs. Our team travels with a lot of wigs. And when I say a lot, our global team, I am saying pallets of wigs. So it's not unusual for myself to travel with a, um, a huge suitcase of wigs. And if you've traveled with me, you know that is the absolute truth. <laughs> Um, the one thing that I always share women with women, with anyone, youngsters, men, women, anyone who's interested in wearing hair is wigs are not that easy to find when you're traveling. So I always just say you can find other accessories, but I myself have experienced that you just can't find wigs anywhere. So that is always going to be the most important items, the most important accessories that I pack. I'm going to make sure that I have my wigs on point. And so the first thing I want to share is please keep in mind that not only individuals like myself that have, I mean, I have bio hair now and I, I've always stressed that I do have patches. I do have really thin hair. And so as a, as a stylist, I just don't feel comfortable with my own hair. I don't feel confident enough to go without some type of addition. So I'm always gonna be wearing wigs. However, there's so many people that wear wigs for vacation, for travel, whatever, if they're traveling all the time, if they're going on a vacation, if they're going on a weekend trip, if they're going to um, a girl's trip, people wear wigs for the convenience of traveling and there's absolute transformation, complete change with no commitment. So these are not just tips for people that are wig wearers. These are people that just wear wigs for fun, for fashion, as an accessory. So to answer my first question, the first question is, how do you decide which wigs are gonna go with you? This is the wig that I feel like every everywhere that I'm going, this particular wig is gonna go with me in several different colors. This is the um, uh, Rain from the Amore collection. It's a double monofilament, super, super comfortable. And the reason I really go and grab this style is because of the length. Um, I can dress it up, I can dress it down, I can pull it back really easy with a clip. I just love the color. The color is just beautiful. Again, this is Rain from the Amore collection. Um, it's just one of my favorite pieces. I feel like it, I don't really have to worry about whether it's the pattern that it takes. And that's why we're doing this. When we're traveling, you always wanna make sure that you pack your wigs correctly so that they don't build moisture and so, so that they don't redry, like dry with a different pattern, if you will. So I know if you've experienced that, it's, it's a little scary if you haven't dealt with um, the fiber you know, you just wanna make sure that you really take care of how you pack them. So I'm gonna go through that in just a minute. I just wanna go over a few, a few of the questions that I usually get asked. I picked this one because of the curl pattern, because it's ready to wear. They're all ready to wear, but this one is just literally, I kid you not, I just took this out of the box about 10 minutes ago. I shook it, I just, you know, kinda of shake it, shook it, shake it, and then I always run a brush through it here to kind of just loosen up the fibers. And I kind of always just do this. However, this, this style, and it's just a great style. I love 
the I just love this style you know that I'm not I'm not real big on longer hair than this but this one just makes me feel comfortable it's not too long it's not gonna be really hot for me for myself again this is my choice and I'm explaining as we're traveling as I travel which wigs I choose I always take one in an updo and it's usually gonna be an older Angelica that's got a little bit of frizz on the ends that way I don't really have to worry about um, I don't have to want to worry about it but if you take a longer style then I'm gonna show you in just a few minutes how to take care of that how to pack it as you're traveling so again I take rain Alexander I oh I mean Alexander Angelica I also wanted to remind you because I keep forgetting this and this is so helpful if you're taking a longer style and you'd like to make it um, a different look for maybe an evening if you don't want to wear it up if you're going to the beach and you want to wear it a little bit shorter but you don't want to cut it you have to go to YouTube or to our our stories on IG look for Alexander's IG on how to create a faux bob with Angelica absolutely great tutorial and I also want to encourage you to view Abby's um, IG as she expresses how she feels comfortable packing her wigs for travel and what wig she takes so again we're talking about traveling today with wigs okay so this one Angelica I'm gonna take a really short piece um, I usually take Kate and if you want to go back and look at some of the styles um, some of our IG's excuse me you can view all these I don't want to get into detail because it's not a review on the different styles however you can always go back to our Instagram stories and view a lot of that information if you're going the the other tip that I can give you is as you're going and you're getting out always keep in mind where you're going to meaning is it gonna be humid is it gonna be really hot do you feel like there's a lot of it, it rains a lot in the area that you're going to so let's just say for instance I'm working in Florida which we work, a, we work a lot in Florida. It's humid, sometimes it's raining, so you have to be prepared. And so I like to take synthetic because I don't have to worry about um, the look softening up. I don't have to take a lot of product. Either way, human hair or synthetic, you really don't need to take. Really, honestly, I don't really travel with anything other than the Revive. Um, and I'll get into that in just a minute but you do want to keep in mind where you're going to and what the element is going to be like because that is something um, that is very important to me last Monday I did how to stay cool in wigs so if you didn't have the opportunity to, to see that make sure that you go back and view that too because I talk a little bit about wig caps and how for myself I choose different caps according to the weather okay so let me see do I check my wigs in meaning do I put them in my suitcase and check them in no I don't I have never done that because unfortunately they've lost my luggage twice so I choose to take my wigs with me in my carry-on that is something that I probably will always do and then if you're traveling of course like if you're traveling and you're not flying it's not it's not a problem however I like to mention that because that is probably the most important question that I get the other is have I ever had a problem going through T like security never have I had a problem going through security the only thing that I that they've asked me on that I've been asked is when I'm going through the security because I do have a, a little bit of bio hair when when you go through the camera they can see like a little patch up here and it's funny it's funny because they all but they're not ever gonna make you feel uncomfortable and they're not ever gonna make you do any I always just say it's a wig you know I'm wearing a, a wig cap and I have bio hair and here but they have never made me feel uncomfortable and they have never made me remove my wig and the other is if they were to ask you anything they do it privately they did ask me one time and they just asked me to um, go into a room with with the female and she was just gonna if it was necessary but at, the, at that point it wasn't necessary it's just they had a question about something in the back here but I have never ever had a problem 
with um, traveling with a wig wearing it or um, and I think that's really important because I know that a lot of times we kind of get a little nervous about traveling with wigs however you can do so many beautiful things wearing wigs and I, I just want to make sure that we do understand that and again whether it's today in a week in a month if you know someone who needs our help this is why we're here to educate and to help you through these little fears if you will so okay so let me see do you travel with all your um, Supplies meaning like do I take everything with me shampoo uh, the the holding spray the only thing I honestly travel with if um, If I'm just going for like a few days is gonna be the revive and I usually take the travel size or if you don't have the travel size No problem. You can just transfer it into a little bottle for travel size. You just want to make sure that um, remember the restrictions as far as travel um, but that's the only thing I really travel with. Unless we're gonna be gone for a month at a time, then of course that's gonna change. But however, keep in mind, you don't have to shampoo your wigs every single week. Even if you wear them every day, you only wanna shampoo them about every two weeks. If you feel like you've really um, perspired more or if you've like been poolside or if you, just, if you just feel like you really, really do need to shampoo it of course that's different but realistically I've been gone for a week at a time a week and a half and I I really do not um, shampoo my wigs the only thing that I do in between and I know you've seen this before this has no product this is just out of the box but I did that intentionally to show you that this is just right out of the box and I still I still feel like it looks great the only thing I ever do is Thank you. Um, before I forget, this style is Rain from the Amore Collection in Melted Marshmallow. You know that's one of my favorite colors. Um, again, this is from the Amore Collection. It's double monofilament. So for me, if I'm going to be traveling and it's really warm, for me, this is just really, really comfortable. Um, okay, so I'm sorry. I was trying to remember. Okay, so... The other thing is, what what other accessories are you going to need whenever you're traveling? What I take, and I'm going to move, I'm going to move here and just show you in a little bit exactly how I do this. I take a collapsible wig stand, depending on how many wigs you take. And I understand if you don't have several wigs, I totally understand that. I am just sharing my experience traveling and what I take with me. I take a couple wig nets. I take um, my folding brush. And I'm going to show you all those in just a minute. I take um, a few accessories, and I'm going to show you those in just a minute. That's probably the most important to me, more so than anything else, because if I'm in an area where I need to pull, if I just get to the point where I need to pull it back, sometimes um, accessories are not that easy to find. Uh, if you have a conditioner in your hair, that's another thing. Like with the longer pieces, I always just say use minimal product if possible until you get to where you're going then if you need to kind of soften moist if you if you just want to kind of move hair around and place it a little bit differently if you already have product in it remember that you're reactivating product that's already there so I always just take a little bit of water in my hands like this and I kind of just do this and I'm reactivating product that's already in the style that way I don't have to be worried about taking a whole bunch of product with me. And I kind of just, I'm loosening up the hair. Again, this is when I'm traveling and I'm, sh I'm gonna show you in just a minute what I mean, the difference between no product and what I do when something has product and I've traveled with it. Okay, so I'm gonna move around and I'm gonna show you the products that I, bear with me here. The products that I take so basically I'm gonna move this down just a little bit I'm gonna take my folding brush I take just a few accessories I know I like to show this because it's it's kind of just a little clamp thing 
something with a little bit of fabric. This is the collapsible wig stand. These kind of just inner, um, kind of connect like this. Let me just put that together. This is to put your wig on. And then I have a folding case for wigs. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. The fold, like a little travel kit. Travel case, I'm sorry. This is how I travel with my longer wig. And I actually take it with me this way. Okay, so what I like to do is, if I was packing a longer style, you can either do it right side out or you can turn it inside out. And I like to put all the hair, I like to comb it all in the direction that it needs to be, kind of smoothing all the hair out. I put the hair net back on it. And I like to keep the hair contained like this so that it doesn't move around and get tangled. This is so, so important. So when you get your wigs, keep the little nets that come with it because they're very valuable accessories to keep your wigs for traveling. And if you have a lot of them, especially something curly like this, you can always kind of just fold it like this. And this travel case, You can put you can just put the wig in there you could always layer another one this is my this is my Angelica that I keep this way just because I don't want to have to be redoing it you can put a hairnet on it and you can put it in the case What's nice about the case is it has this little top here where you can fold your accessories. And they all go on the top here. So I hope you can see that okay. Okay, so again we put our accessories on the top here. And this is this is nice you can put up to I, I put up to three wigs layered in here okay so I'm going to show you another method and then I'm going to show you how I just really quickly make this one ha look a lot nicer uh, as I take it out of here okay so I'm going to take this put the hairnet back on it the way I choose to travel with these is I take just the piece of tissue and I put my wigs like this okay so I wanted to show you really quickly like if you if you get your wig I know this is kind of scary sometimes when you get it out of here you're gonna just take it out you're gonna shake it a little bit okay again this is rain okay so I just took this out of the hairnet and she looks like she needs a little bit of help okay I know it does but I just want to show you how quickly just taking it out of the bag this already has product in it so you could just take a little bit of water or a little bit of revive and again we're reactivating product that's already there and 
And always remember that the Revive gives it just a, a, a nice little condition and a little bit of sheen. So as you're getting it out of the bag from traveling, look how nice that looks compared to, this is a little dry looking. This looks, you know, you've kind of just activated the curl again. But again, this is just one of my favorite styles because if I'm out and about traveling, I don't have to worry about humidity. I don't have to worry about this going straight. I don't have to worry about it um, kinking or anything like that. And as you as you saw how I did um, the layers with the um, wig, let me show you just really quickly. Whenever you get your wigs, let me show you what not to throw away. Whenever you get your wigs, it's, I'm going to kind of give you the example. When I was in cosmetology school, my instructor would always say, Daniela, did you read the instructions? And I would say, I didn't have time to. And she said, I, I just want you to remember they wrote the instructions because the instructions are important. And I, you know, that's the one thing that I've learned in, in wig world there's a reason why we put these in the boxes. There's a reason why we use tissue paper. So if possible, if you if you're going to go traveling anytime soon or if you're going to if you're going to put an item back, please remember to keep this little hairnet and the tissue because if if you're say for instance, this is Erica. This is a beautiful style from Amore as well. This is one that I like to use. I like to wear, especially if, you know, someone, I'm going somewhere, they don't really know me. They don't know if I have gray hair or not. This is such a beautiful style. Okay, I always want to make sure that the hair is not crimped anywhere. Then I take the hair net back. I just want to show you this one more time because it's so very important. I'm going to put the hair net back on it like this, making sure that all the hair is smooth. And then I'm going to take it and place it back in the box. If you're I, This is how I, I pack them if I'm traveling in the car. If I'm going to be traveling by plane, then I'm going to put it, I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I'm going to put her back in the net, in the tissue paper, and I layer my wigs like this. This is just how I do it. Um, you can also put them in a, a, like a plastic. However, you want to make sure that there's a little hole in the plastic because you want to keep it airtight. Um, and again, if you want to see a, a different way of traveling, make sure you go view Abby's um, how to travel with wigs because she has a whole different method a, another little system that she uses to um, travel with wigs but it's really really important to just remember that the beautiful thing about traveling is with wigs is that you're always ready to go I can't tell you if you if you're on the fence about trying to if you're on the fence about I should wear a wig I've never tried one um, Please keep in mind, vacation is an absolute wonderful time to try something. Um, okay, where do I buy the gray hair from more? Okay, so if you will go to reneaparis.com, you want to go to the locator, and we will find you a verified vendor where you can um, order any of the styles. that. I, this style was Erica in Silverstone um, from the Amore collection. If, if you have someone in your area, you know, where you usually go to as we open back up, make sure that you try to find someone in your local area that carries um, our wigs. And again, this is Erica from the Amore collection in Silverstone. And the first one was Rain, Rain, and this is also Rain in a different color. It is an um, it's an awesome gift to give for Mother's Day. Let me just tell you, I'm, I'm not gonna tell anyone that I that I want wigs for Mother's Day, um, but I would. You know, so if you know anyone that that has been thinking about again, 
there are so many people that I run, run into on a weekly basis and they're experiencing hair loss um, for various reasons. They maybe don't have the hair density that they need for a particular look that they've been wanting. Maybe their hair doesn't, it, it just can't take that chemical processing. Maybe they don't have the time. I don't realistically have the time. Um, I wouldn't have the time if I had the hair to sit there through all the different appointments to create this color. Um, and you know what, before I finish, I'm just gonna put my other hair back on because I just feel like I need to. I wanna give you one more look at this rain because um, I think this is the one that you might need for travel. This is, I actually took this out because I, I'm gonna, I'm ready to, as I get ready to hit the road again, um, this is the piece that I always grab, go to. And again, this is rain, no product, no nothing. And look how, look how great that looks. This just looks nice. And it has nothing, no product, nothing at all. This is literally out of the box, maybe 30 minutes ago. So um, I actually know a few moms that would love this piece. Um, so again, stay close uh, for the details on the new giveaway that will be beginning tomorrow. I wanna thank you for joining me this afternoon at Renea Paris TV. I hope I taught you a little bit as we get, as we kind of get out there and I know some of us are still in lockdown, but as we get back out there and start traveling, have fun with your wigs. Bye now.